Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. Today's shout out goes to Tasha Johnson. Thank you for your continued support. Now, we're going to dive into the topic about how narcissism can affect anyone at any time. And that's why it's so important to remain vigilant and aware. But first, I want to go ahead and make a quick announcement. For those of you who are looking for more exclusive content about the spiritual realm and the spiritual awakening, there is now a channel over on Patreon, okay? So I'm going to include that link in this video description so that you all can go see what that is about there. What it is, it is a subscription service. I've had several who have wanted to support me in more ways and so I said okay if they want to do that because you know God told me not to ask for donations or anything like that but for those who would like and are ready to dive deeper into that spiritual aspect all of those components and what I do over there is I bring more real world example into how things are happening Okay, with the spiritual energy and all of that. Now, I'll still bring some of the concepts here, but over there what I do is I take some of these concepts and we go deeper. And I also include things over there I won't talk about over here. All right? So, if you're ready to take that dive and get deep, 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 because spirituality is very deep. Okay? It's very deep. So, again, you can check out that link and go ahead and you can join as a Patreon to access. There's some, there's a welcome video, obviously, and then a little introduction for the public, you know, for people to see and make the decision whether it's something they want to get on board with. Then once you sign up and become a patron, then you'll have access to, there's quite a few videos over there already, and I will continue to upload you know, probably weekly, one new video per week up there on that one about a specific topic. And as always, I take video requests and questions, things like that there too. But today, let's go into how narcissism can affect anyone at any time and what that means. Because it's coming across our feeds more and more lately you know, a lot of people wondering if they are a narcissist or not. And that's perfectly understandable. Because the abusers always have this way of... It's because of that projection. They have this way of tricking their targets, their victims, into thinking that they're the ones with the problem. Okay? And that is part and parcel for narcissistic abuse, unfortunately. So it's natural to have those questions. But we also have to remember, God did not tell us that we have to remain vigilant and aware for the enemy is always roaming about seeking whom he can devour. He didn't tell us that just to tell us that. Okay, it was not just a one-time thing. It's an everyday thing to remain vigilant and aware. Because there is a... I mean, narcissism is all around us. Okay, it is... you. Know, that is the battle against narcissism, okay, and all the abuse associated with it. So what happens at any time? Because, let's face it, cognitive dissonance is major, okay? It is major. And so we often get duped a number of times until we realize, oh, okay. Once we realize that we've been duped or we've been deceived... Then that's when we have to take, make a mental note and go, okay, we're not going to do that again. We're not going to go down that road again. And that's also part of why God, you know, when God removes people from our lives for a reason, we're not to go back. Because God's like, no, I, I got you out of that already. So we don't want to go back there. And it does take a little while to learn that lesson. We got to remember that too. Many of us, went through it a number of times before God woke us up, okay? And so that's a very big part of it. And we got to remember that narcissism is, lar you know, largely that is a mindset. Now, here's what it, okay, I'm going to break it down a couple, a couple I'm going to show you some differences here. All right, first of all, there is a false narrative, 
as usual, there's a ton of them, going around out there saying that narcissists, like all narcissists, are highly self-promoting, da-da-da-da-da-da-da. No, that's not true. There are many people who are starting businesses, who have businesses. They got to advertise, okay? That's all part of marketing. Now, it's a mad, here's where the separation between that and narcissism, because Doing your own self-advertising and self-promotion is not the ism mindset. Because let's face reality. People aren't going to know that you have a product out there. They're not going to know you have services that can benefit them. They're not going to know unless you put it out there. And most people, especially when you're first starting out, they don't have a, har a, a large advertising budget anyway. So it's only natural to do a lot of your own self-promotion. That's not the ism mindset, unless that person is doing certain things, wicked behaviors behind it, for totally selfish reasons. In other words, they're not offering anything that's going to benefit someone, and they're not educating, or they're not helping someone heal, or they're not giving back in, in what they do, okay? So there is a difference. And, you know, a lot of people, most pe people are going to interpret things how they want to interpret them. That's out of our, that's one of the biggest things, y'all, that is out of our control. And I do see a lot of people, it takes a little while, but I see a lot of people who get flustered and frustrated because they're, they're easily misunderstood a lot. Well, you know, there's a reason for that. You know, if you come across someone and you're, you're having a conversation with them, and they're not interpreting you correctly. You got to remember that's part of the system of narcissism. They don't know yet. Many times they don't know yet. Okay, that they're and and many times if it's a narcissistic abuser, they're doing that on purpose. So there's a lot of little things inside this that we have to remain vigilant and aware about because you, we don't want to get sucked back into the past or the perception management reality. You'll, again, I'm going to remind everybody here, you'll feel it too because it'll be a highly uncomfortable feeling. It's like God said, no, I got you out of that. I need you to keep going on this path. Okay, that's that's a lot of it, but you'll notice it because you'll be like, okay, that's trying to pull me. Hmm. And then it can be very forceful. It's that energy, it's that spiritual energy transfer stuff. It can be. And so it's you got and if you're dwelling in the secret place of the most high, you'll notice it more. And that's what God was telling us all about. And the reason why it's a daily thing. When he wakes us up and we understand more what that means about being vigilant and aware, then we literally it's not walking on eggshells by oh gosh, no, not at all. Not at all. It's that Remaining vigilant and aware at all times, because especially when you are in the presence of other people, strangers or family or friends or whatever, because you never know when one of their, one of, I would, not all of them are going to have this, but where, when there's a demon spirit, it's highly likely there's going to be a few in that environment, okay, where there's people who are unaware, they're crept and unaware, we're talking about, let's say, the demon of jealousy, the demon of hate, the demon of criticism, the demon of lust, okay? You will notice it because, let's remember, you're dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, right? You're not even thinking about that. That is not even, that hasn't crossed your mind. And you're not a jealous person by nature anyway. And so none of that, and you don't hate, you have no hate in your heart, nothing like that. You know that about you. That's part of being vigilant and aware also, okay? Because when you know you, and you know exactly how you're feeling for that day, you will be able to sense when you're around other people, okay? When there is, you, you'll, you'll see if I can find a way to describe this best. You're sitting there, you minding your own business. You know you're feeling fine. You know where you're at, okay? You're with the Heavenly Father. You are li you are listening for His instruction. And so, with that being said, all of a sudden, you'll start to notice or you'll sense in the atmosphere that there is a demon of jealousy around. Because you can sense it. Remember, 
that's that's a feeling that mo many of us are like, uh-uh, we, we don't want anything to do with that, all right? But you'll sense it, and you'll know automatically it's not coming from you, okay? It's not coming from you. It's coming from someone else in that environment. might take a little while to pinpoint who you'll be able to tell if you are paying attention to. You know, and, and we want to remember also that the system of narcissism has tricked a lot of people about body language. I'm not going to go into that here, but just know that a lot of that information has been falsified, twisted, misconstrued, and, and obviously for reasons, okay? So that when someone who is not riddled with those demon spirits comes along and just happens to have that sort of body language or whatever then a person who believes the nonsense is going to go, oh, that's the bad guy. So you got to remember, n narcissism, it, in that battle, it's really, it's got that objective of always trying to paint good as bad, okay? Always trying to paint, you know, good as evil and evil as good. That's something we got to always remember, and that's why proper discernment, see, that vigilance and awareness goes in with having that proper discernment and listening to that intuition, Okay, because again, along with the fact that narcissism can affect anyone at any time, is the fact that it doesn't discriminate either. Okay, narcissism does not discriminate, okay, at all. And while many of us outgrow some of those so called narcissistic tendencies, you know, we had when we were younger, now we didn't engage in the abuse like that, we didn't, you know, we didn't. We never woke up secretly wanting to destroy other people and things and stuff like that. We were never like that. God knew that. Okay, God knew that. It's part It's part of the reason why he protected us this whole time and continues to protect us. He knows where our heart is. He knows, he knows where our mind is. Okay, he knows. The devil doesn't. All right, that's something else to keep in mind. The devil doesn't know. Now, the, the ones that have those demon spirits attached to them, they can see that you're not like them and they can see and that's why they pull all those tests in the beginning with the love bombing and things like that just to see if you are remaining vigilant and aware just to see okay that'll make more sense to those who are just now getting on that journey but you'll you'll know and you, you, many of you will know what i'm talking about here all right they're trying to test to see if we know all right, or if we're aware, okay? So, because once we become aware, we got to remain aware. That's why God gave us that as part of the armor, too, when you stop and think about it. He did not give us, it's all about that the sword of the Spirit. Let me tell you, okay? He gave us all of the tools necessary to battle everything in the spiritual battle and to realize that, okay, and not, and along with that, we do our own self-reflecting and we not only are mindful of the atmosphere and the energies and things like that, we are also more mindful of our own behavior to make sure that we're not, you know, engaging in any of that. Now, that's another process in and of itself. So, I don't want any, don't beat yourself up if you haven't eliminated all of it yet. Just give it time because Jesus will make those changes. Just got to be patient with them. And not only that, you you become more, you will become more aware, okay, in that heightened sense of awareness, so that you'll know, especially when somebody's trying to get you to give up and give in to that system of narcissism, you'll know, okay, because and I'll give you an example, okay. Here's a prime example, and we all go through it. It's all part of the process. That's another reason why there's many people out there, and they're very right about this, and why it's so important to trust the process, trust God's process, okay, because you're learning. He's going to show you what you need to see, like I say often, because he does, but how you can tell when the system of narcissism is trying to get you to give up and give in, you'll kind of, your intuition will pick up on not only more of the low vibration behind what other people say, okay, even, even online, you'll be able to sense it, but also you'll start in the atmosphere, you will feel it's almost like a very forceful kind of 
energy flow. It's kind of like, okay, you're not in a negative mindset, but let's say some people that happen to be in that particular environment, and more often than not, there's going to be some. There always is. We Many of us know you. We run into negative people all the time. Most of us just go, okay, bye. I'm going to walk the other way now. But the thing is that you'll start to sense because it's, very, it's similar to a very uh, stuffy atmosphere kind of in a way. And you'll just count, you'll, it, it feels like it's trying to press on you, on your, in your spirit. You'll feel it trying to press you in your spirit, not physically. Okay, you'll notice because you'll, it'll, it's trying to get, those demon spirits are trying to get in here and convince you again and again that you're not good enough, that you can't do this, that, oh my gosh, this is too hard, I just can't keep going. That's, they're trying to get in there and convince you that, and you can kind of, you can sense it. Okay, not only is it uncomfortable, but... It's just a good sign that you need to keep going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like turn that negative into a positive. Okay? But that's just one of many ways you'll notice it. And then that's all designed to try to get you to give up and give in. Okay? We don't want to do that. I have another video on that. But now also you all, for the newbies, if you haven't checked out, I need to... God wants me to remind everybody of this. That if you are not familiar yet with the content that on this channel it's there's an introduction to the channel video there is there's two that are welcome videos one is at the top of the channel page so if you if you're if you're seeing this and you're not on the channel when you go over to the channel itself there's a video up there that's about that's the most recent update because I'm going to update as not only as I learn but as we all discover new things and stuff like that I'll occasionally have new updates but there's also an original welcome video that if you go to the video tab, you scroll down, you'll see where it says Welcome to Narcissism and Cognitive Dissonance. You get a little more information there. And then also the introduction to the channel video. You have to scroll maybe a little bit further down, but it's there. And it'll give you a better idea. Also, my books, okay? There's two of them available right now and you can in the channel description and on my website. And I talk about how narcissism is the work of the devil. And then the second one is a sequel that branches out that talks about the three different realities, stages of life that we all go through to, until we get to God's reality. And so those might help you get a better feel. And I want everyone to remember that when you're reading those, it's important that you're reading it through a, the spiritual lens, with your spiritual eyes, not your physical eyes. The spirit, It's like when we listen to people who are preaching the Word of God and stuff like that, we have to listen with the spiritual ear, okay, in order to, to know and understand and also to be able to sense whether they actually do have the Holy Spirit, whether it's coming from the Holy Spirit, okay, because you, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit to Spirit will sense it. Okay, so it's the same thing when you're reading that content and especially listening to stuff here because it's all about spirituality and spiritual growth and healing. It's all about that. But I bring a lot of the concept about narcissism, cognitive dissonance and the spiritual realm to this channel. Okay, so there's a mix of things. So you'll see some videos where I discuss narcissistic behaviors. Okay, and then you'll see some where I'll break down a little bit more on cognitive distance. And you'll see some like this, where are like reminder videos just to bring a little more awareness so people don't let their guard down. Because there is, there are a lot of people under the impression that narcissism, one, they think once we get into God's reality, now it shouldn't affect us. But the reality behind it is that it is around us all the time. And it can if we're not vigilant and aware. And so you want to, we got to remember that. We got to remember that. God does not want us falling from grace again. Okay, now yes, we are going to still stumble up upon some things here and there. And that's why God tells us we got to test the spirit of someone. We meet someone new that it kind of you know, seems like we're on the same page and everything like that, but we have to test the spirit. And a lot of, a, a lot of that has to do with when you interact with them for a little while, you just got to remain vigilant and aware to see if you notice any of the red flags in narcissism. 
okay? Because not, and, and this came to my attention not that long ago, that sometimes they don't always come right out with the love bomb. I think what's going on, I mean, what I'm seeing and observing is what's going on with a lot of us coming out, not only sharing our stories and the information about narcissistic abuse, but what's happening is the demon spirits are switching up their game a little bit, but they still play it in different ways. So that's part of what we're doing in God's reality is we're starting to learn all of that as well. So many of us have talked about the love bombing. So what's happened is I've noticed that some of those human hosts that, again, many of them don't know, they have demon spirit, they've decided to go about it a different way, okay? Like, they won't necessarily love bomb right off the bat, because they need to get your attention first, okay? And then it also goes in with that tug at the heartstring. They have learned not to do that right off the bat. They'll get you into a conversation, and they'll, they'll take, they will take their time, too. And then, as long as we're paying attention, remaining vigilant and aware, then you'll start to see the patterns of narcissism emerge a little bit at a time, and sometimes in a big way. But it it might take a little bit. But that's why we got we always got to be paying attention. All right, and so that's what the, the gist of a lot of different things. I would say a lot, just a handful of all the concepts that are involved, because it all boils down to recognizing, knowing, and understanding narcissistic abuse inside out so that A, we don't engage in it, B, we don't enable it, and C, we stay away from it as much as possible, okay? But there does come a time, I want to understand this, there does come a time, especially if you're armored up every single day and thwart those fiery darts, you will eventually be like, eh, oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I kid you not. It, it will roll right off. And you will keep, it's just like whatever, and you keep going about your business. Because you can see what they're doing. You can see what they're trying to do. Okay? It does happen. You do get to that point. I know it. sometimes in the beginning it doesn't feel that way. Because it's little, it can feel a little bit overwhelming. However, it's totally doable. Like I say often, because it really is. And there's many people who can attest to that. But just, there you go, y'all. Recap, wrapping up. Just don't be fooled by the misinformation going around out there that narcissism can't affect but a certain age or whatever. No, because it can affect anyone at any time when they're not vigilant and aware. Think about it this way. If narcissism didn't affect people at any time, anywhere because they're not remaining vigilant and aware, think about it for a second. No no CD cognitive dissonance in that. Because if they were remaining vigilant and aware and they knew, okay, about what they were, if they knew they were engaging in narcissistic abuse and had a conscience of any kind at all, if they were with the Godhead, then it wouldn't affect them. They would know about it and they would repent. Okay, that's the big part. So I'm going to leave it right there because the repentance part, it's all about we learn it. Okay, we learn it. We realize that it's not, we don't need to be engaging in that. We don't need to be associating with that or that or that. And we repent. We're like, okay, because remember, we didn't know until we knew, right? Not, God knows this. He knows we don't know until we know. But once we know, we go, kind of thing, okay? All right, everyone, as always, sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. You keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.